months. Okay, one of the things I'd ask her is, does she ever feel as if she was stolen? Because she's acting out something that she can't tell you. And so sometimes if you say, gosh, I'm wondering if the reason you're stealing is because you feel stolen. You know, because they won't respond. Okay, and if I just say it might go away. Well, sometimes, some well, sometimes it does because all of a sudden they have they have an understanding. But that's a feeling I have. I'm trying to get you to know that feeling. And if you can say that feeling for them, then they they don't have to keep telling you. I mean, a lot of the behavior that these kids act out are, are cries for please understand what's going on with the stealing and um, and lying. lying. Or two of them. Now they well, feel so. She tries to get me anxious, you know, which is this is how I feel. I'm well aware of how she does it. Yeah. Like when I have to leave the house, letting the dogs up the street, <laughs> you know, and I gotta go to work or something. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. I get that one. But I am, you know, you, you just it works. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. You know, I just, I just, you know, I kind of run that by her. And then, you know, and, and if she says, if she doesn't say anything, say, well, I want you to think about that. And maybe we'll talk about it sometime. Because I think a lot of these kids do feel that. They really, they they would rather be stolen than think their mother gave them away. Mm. Oh, they would. Oh, yeah. They don't want to be yeah. yeah. stolen. Oh, yeah. Say, oh, yeah. <laughs> how, will it, how will it help her stop stealing by me just making her? Well, I mean, she'd rather have been stolen. I thought that was the worst of the two. No, you don't want no. to. You don't want you're to know stolen. your You're valuable. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah you're valuable <laughs> when you're stolen, but you're not valuable when you're given away. Well, I mean, I didn't think either was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right about that. From my perspective, I'm in the worst. You know, I'm in the worst state if I'm with the stealer. You know? yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. But no, stealing. You know, I'm mean, gonna that put you on the spot because you're the one who stole her, right? Right. But it's it's um it's important to have her just talk about that. I mean she just she needs to have an opening to talk about these things. And and so and you don't want to shut her down, you know. You wanna open it up. And so don't use the word why. Remember that? Don't use the word what? Why? Oh why never. Why what? Meaning why? Don't ask children why they did something. Oh I never no. do that. No. I never do that. Okay. So yeah, and, and, and lying the same thing. They feel as if they feel like they don't fit in their family, so they're living this lie. They're living you now everybody says you belong to this family, but they don't feel as if they belong to the family. And so so what's a little lie? If, if people can lie about my whole life, you know, what's a little lie? Your birth certificate's a lie. Yeah, your birth certificate's a lie. That's right. That's right. So, you know, we're kinda of teaching them what to do here. But it's, so So just being able to talk about these things is important, you know, and just listening, not saying too much ourselves. My guess is she can't talk about it. So that's that, right, that's why she's doing it. But then what do you do if she can't just maybe repeat it every once in a while? Well, just ask if she's thought about it. And, um, and maybe she can write a story or a poem. Poems are good because they come from a different part of the brain than prose. And, and, and pictures or whatever, you know, she's still the age where she could draw pictures. Yeah, she's. So, yeah, just anything to kind of get it outside herself so she doesn't have to keep acting it out. Mm -hmm.